Hey guys, Becky here with Design Bundles and I'm super excited to have you join me today. We have another fabulous Canva tutorial and today we're talking about digital scrapbooking. All right guys, so I jumped straight over to the Canva website. That's just canva.com. And um, everything that I'm doing today, you can do with the um, Canva free version. All right, so no pressure to update, but just know that Canva does have a paid option that unlocks more features, so just uh, completely up to you. I'm gonna go to create a design right up here. And we'll just do custom dimensions and I will do 1200 by 1200 and just create a new design. So that is a basic square and now it's time for us to just bring in the elements that we're going to use. So let's go to uploads and the good thing is that we can bring in um, several uh, features at once so I can select all of these and hit open. And while that's working, we can go ahead and upload more. I want to find the um, photos that we're gonna use. There we go. Oh, and I also need, so guys, I can either um, choose a background from what Canva offers, or I can import my own. I will go ahead and import one that we're gonna use today. But just know that Canva does have a lot of backgrounds too. Okay, so I am gonna start with the, with the tile first. And I do want to size it down. It needs to be um, 400 by 400, give or take. And then over here in the, well, I guess you could probably just do a filter, apply a filter, grayscale filter, and then adjust your transparency. And that just makes it a little lighter, okay? Now, of course, I'm gonna use copy and paste. And I'm just going, this is a seamless pattern. So these should butt up right against each other. There we go. So we have filled the entire background. Uh, looks like these need to go up just a smidge. There we go. And then of course, after we get here, if for some reason you, you it didn't scale all the way, you can just enlarge and, um, and just position that in the middle. Okay, there we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and bring in our photos. And we will work with one photo at a time. Now this one, I did um, flip it because I already know that I'm gonna use my gnome and clip art over here. There we go. And this, so when you click on your photo, this position is what's gonna help you with your layering. That's gonna be true for the photo and for um, the clip art that we're going to use. Now, because we're not actually going to print these out, well, let me rephrase that. Because we're not using actual printed photos. Um, the sizing doesn't really matter, um, but you can actually do this with more traditional scrapbooking as well. You could actually set up your whole design and then add real life photos if you already have actual printed glossy photos that you want to use. But digital scrapbooking is very, in my opinion, it's very convenient. Now it is kind of cheating a little bit because, um, you know, you're kind of getting away with a pretty a uh, pretty awesome final project, uh, but it doesn't have the full dimension that you get with traditional scrapbooking. But guys, it's so easy. I, I can't, I just can't stop doing it because I just personally don't have the time for scrapbooking. So this just works out really, really good for me. All right, so now we wanna, I'm gonna go to the elements and I'm gonna draw a square. And I want to, let's see, position backward and backward. I wanna actually put that square just behind my photo here. Let's see, there we go. And I can use these controls to, you know, d develop my mat. That's what I'm doing. I'm creating a mat here. Okay, and then of course I can fill it with whatever color I want to. Now let's go ahead and bring in at least one of our other elements. All right, so there's our gnome. I want to click back on this mat. Usually it will start to pick up. See, there's my gnome right there. So I can pick up any of the colors. Um, it'll also pick up colors from the photos themselves and um, the background. So whatever color we wanna make it. But I thought that was really useful that Canva will pick up those coordinating colors for you. And I'm gonna create another box. I just used the copy and paste on that one. And again, we're gonna, I'm just watching it to make sure it goes behind my photo. And we can move the, the gnome out of the way. We don't need him right away. I just wanted to go ahead and add him that way um, 
we could we could grab colors from him if we needed to. So those are the two um, photos that we're working with. Now I can just come in and bring in my clip art, make it whatever size. Now I will say it is very, very helpful to choose clip art that has um, these white borders. All right. So if you can't find clip art that has white borders, you may be able to, um, to do that with some sort of program. Like I know that I can do it with um, Silhouette Studio if I want to. Um, but just very, very useful to be able to have those white borders because it makes the it makes the designs really pop. Oh, but it looks like I left off a piece. Let's go back to our uploads because I need our little quote. All right, guys, so that is literally how easy it is. So um, all you're going to do, you're going to click download. And then I, I do think the PNG is the best option. So we can go ahead and click download here. It's going to download it to our computer and then it is ours to do with what we want to. And um, you can even um, sell, not the digital file, okay? Not the digital file because it's not covered, but you would be able to sell these as an album if you offered scrapbooking services. Um, you could offer these as um, printed layouts for people to add their photos to. You could offer to let them send you their photos. So definitely a lot of room because you have that um, commercial licensing that came with the designs from Design Bundles. So that is really cool as well. But I can easily take this, if I have a wide format printer, I can print it. I mean, I can print it on my regular printer. Um, if I want to do, say, you can get a, an 8x8 eight eight, um, scrapbooking album. But if you're wanting a 12x12, 12 12, then you will want to get a, a wide format printer, which they're actually relatively inexpensive now. Um, but a wide format printer, I could print this out and make my own scrapbook album. I could um, send this off to have it bound as a book, um, along with several others, which is actually what I intend to do myself. I intend to complete these for the entire year. And then um, I want to store them both electronically and um, as a, a printed copy for all the kids to be able to look through. Um, but yeah, just a lot of really great features. And we did not actually have to go out and find anything specific to scrapbooking. This is all, you know, just part of that wonderful clip art that I can get from design bundles. Um, and, and I just really like it. And Canva being a free and super easy website to use just makes it that much uh, quick and easier on me. So super excited to be able to show you guys this and now let's wrap it up. So guys, how did we feel about that Canva tutorial? I feel like I'm constantly finding ways for Canva to really work with and improve and integrate with my crafting. And this is just another super easy way that I can knock out those crafting uh, projects that I have piled up, right? I know you guys are right there with me. I think crafters and uh, hoarders and procrastinators, I think we all kind of unite under the same umbrella, right? So anyway, but I really do love digital scrapbooking and this is just a really easy way to get it done. Um, you you can even save these layouts and be able to use them in a commercial manner, which we touched on a little bit because I love to know that everything that I use from Design Bundles is covered under that premium license. So guys, if you have any questions or comments about what we've done today, please make sure you leave that below. If you have any video requests, I always love to hear that from you as well. And of course, guys, in return, please make sure you do the like, subscribe, and share. That's what keeps our little channel here going and to make sure that we can bring you more tutorials in the future. So I'm going to wrap it up guys, but I really, really do appreciate every time you take time and stop by and pay me a visit. So guys, uh, thanks again and we'll see you next time.